Hey guys. guys! Welcome back to our channel. We know it's been a while, we haven't been able to film, but we have a very interesting video for you. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, just keep watching and remember to subscribe, like this video, leave comments on Please. suggestions, um, and follow us on all our social media pages, links below. So yeah, let's get started. Let's get started. So what if I told you that some of the most powerful, richest men in the United States come together every year to a secret location and participate in some ritualistic type of sacrifice? Weird. Would you believe it? Well, believe it. Because it's true. <laughs> it is true, guys. This is not a conspiracy. Um, there are conspiracies surrounding it, but this is 100%. This happens. Yes, For this sure. Happens. And it is the Bohemian Grove is where they get together. If you're not familiar with, with what the Bohemian Grove is, it's a giant campground on 2,700 acres surrounded by these huge redwood trees located in Sonoma County, California, where every summer in either June or July, um, the most powerful and wealthy men in the country come together for two weeks. I don't think they were able to this year because of COVID, but... Interesting. Yeah, but every year they do come together. And they have many different cabins and clubhouses where up to 50 men can stay in. And apparently each one has a different theme and they have decorations of owls everywhere. Um, so think of it like a grown men's summer camp. Interesting. No one really knows what goes on during this two week quote unquote getaway. And that's what's really odd about this. Yeah. So no women and children are allowed. However, they do apparently invite women and children, or at least women I know, mm -hmm. during the day, but they're not allowed to stay at night. They're sexist. Phones are prohibited from the grounds and they have hidden surveillance cameras everywhere. There's guards at different checkpoints and they're also protected by local police. So like very secretive. Yeah, and I mean, at one point I can understand like, of course the most richest yeah. men, powerful men, they need all this protection, but I feel like that's overkill. Yeah, like, very overkill. To the extreme. And like, why can only men stay there at night? Yeah. You know? Just very, very mm -mm. sketchy stuff, okay? Just to give you a little background, the Bohemian Club was originally founded in 1872 in San Francisco by a man named Henry Harry Edwards. Um, he was an actor and a writer, and the club was made up of male actors, artists, lawyers, journalists, but even back then it was invite only. Um, so it was a very exclusive club. And they used an owl as the club's symbol, which represents wisdom and strength. Um, and they would gather to socialize, drink, party, and they even put on plays and performances. So they do have a headquarters, which is a six-story masonry building located in San Francisco. Located on the building is a plaque which has their motto, and it says, Weaving spiders come not here, which is a line from Shakespeare's A Midsummer's Night Dream. Inside, they have a library, a bar, dining rooms, meeting rooms, a theater, an art gallery, and a lot more. And in order to become a member of the Bohemian Club, you have to pay a $25,000 initiation fee, Oof. which is insane. You gotta be rich. You have to be <laughs> To pay that much for an initiation fee, like mm -hmm. what? And you continue to pay that fee every year, so it's annual. And there's also a waiting list for the memberships, um, which is at the minimum 10 years long, but we've seen numbers as high as 20 to 30 years to get into this club. That's like what? That's a lifetime. Literally. Not literally. That's insane. Well, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> almost. <laughs> but since 1878, the members of the Bohemian Club have been going to the Bohemian Grove campgrounds. The main purpose of these campgrounds was to serve as a place for these powerful men to get away, to re rest and relax, for artists and writers to clear their minds and to maybe gain some inspiration. But like, that's just... Excessive? Yeah. $2,500 to like... To clear your mind, guys. Like, I don't think... The thing is, I island. don't know if any of you guys have actually relaxed because you haven't spent that much money. Like, <laughs> I don't I don't think we know what vacation is. No, we really don't. So... I need to go to the Bohemian Grove. Yeah. <laughs> So some of the notable members who have been in attendance or been like or had a membership here include Mark Twain, singer Bing Crosby, former Secretary of State Henry Kissinger, actor Clint Eastwood, which was surprised me, mm -hmm. Mickey Hart, who's a member of the band Grateful Dead, former President Carter, former President Gerald Ford, and every Republican president since Herbert Hoover who was president in 1929, so like that far back. That's insane. Crazy. 
Some of the notable families have been the, to have been members there and go there every year are the Rockefellers, the Morgans, and the Bushes. Um, and we'll insert some pictures of them there uh, in this slide. So these men are just a few of the examples of the members who are either invited or want to join. It's all presidents, actors, military contractors, major financial institutions, the Federal Reserve, oil companies, the media, cabinet officials, and CEOs of major companies, and even former, former CIA directors. Like, this is all... These are the people who, like, run our country. Literally. Like, you can't just Every be aspect. anyone with... $2,500 no. and go to this club like you need to be powerful you yeah. need to have some kind of influence absolutely um which is it's just it's just so weird to me that they all get together like that they all take their time out of obviously they're busy okay right? we just mentioned to you who these people were yeah they got they got plans and they're they're taking time out of their schedules for two weeks mm -hmm. to come together to relax like what um, okay. i don't know just so Oh, it's weird. really weird. Very bizarre. <laughs> now we're going to talk about some people who have infiltrated the Bohemian Grove. Dun, dun, dun. And this is why we kind of know what we know about it. So one of the people who has infiltrated is Alex Jones. We know he's not, we know, we know. <laughs> he's not the most credible source. Okay. I will eat your ass. Okay, we know that. But we got film. Yeah. And we're going to insert it for you guys here. Yeah. Of what? And he has his own documentary too. So like come to your own conclusions. Mm -hmm. You know, some people believe he didn't really infiltrate it. Um, it was staged. Yeah, or that something. it was staged. But you just do your own research. But I j we just want to mention it because he like, you know, because he's a It's big, important to yeah, mention. <laughs> it is. So anyways, he infiltrated with his cameraman and I think some like someone else or so. A journalist. Like, yeah, yeah. Like three people. Um, in 2000 and they filmed one of the club ceremonies which was called the cremation of care and in this ceremony you see the members dressed in robes in front of this large owl statue which we'll get into the meaning of the owl later mm -hmm. um, and burning what looks like a coffin which is meant to be an effigy of care so during the ceremony the effigy um, is placed on the altar and set on fire at the end uh, the cremation is supposed to symbolize that members are banishing their cares, so like banishing all their worries. Um, and while participating in the ceremony, the Bohemian club members are dressed as tree spirits. Oh. So, um, Jones has his own conspiracies surrounding the ceremony, uh, which we will get into that later. But he has a documentary, like I mentioned, called Dark Secrets Inside Bohemian Grove. So watch that, come to your own conclusions. Either way, it's weird that they do yes. this, right? Mm -hmm. Like, absolutely, <laughs> just these powerful grown men in robes doing this—a fake sacrifice mm -hmm. to get rid of their cares. Like, is that how far we have to go? Right? Like, what they're doing? Just think so of like a normal weird. person in your life doing that. Yeah. Like you seeing them, like, <laughs> You're like what the heck? And then think of like your president's doing it, you know? Mm -mm. You know what I'm saying? Like it's just, no. it's not okay. It's like, no, not, it's really not. It's not normal. <laughs> so another example of somebody infiltrating was in the summer of 1989, Philip Wise, a writer for Spy Magazine, spent seven days in the camp posing as a guest. He eventually was discovered and arrested for trespassing, but he did write an article about his experience titled Inside Bohemian Grove. In his article, he called it a high-status retreat for Republicans and other right-wingers. And like we said, every Republican since Hoover, yeah. 1929. That's insane. Insane. That's a long time. Very long time. He also noted that members would pee on trees. <laughs> he said, and I quote, You know you are inside the Bohemian Grove when you come down a trail in the woods and hear piano music from amid a group of tents and then round a, around a bend to see a man with a beer in one hand urinating in the bushes. So to me it sounds like, and what it's been called before is like a frat party basically. Yeah. Yeah. They get extremely drunk and just go wild. Yeah. Which I believe because oh, yeah. if you think about it like even when these powerful men go out, let's say they go on vacation with their families mm -hmm. or just to a bar or something, like they're being watched. Yeah, you have like to their be. every move is being documented. So it makes sense that they would want to go on like a secret retreat, but it's just weird that it all happens together. Yeah. You know, like yeah. they're all coming together. Yeah. That's like what's for like for what? For two weeks every year. Like it's just it's bizarre. Yeah. But I mean, it could just be a big frat party, you know? Like a lot yeah. of people do think that right. like, of them just letting loose and that is possible, but who knows? 
Um, and there have been others who've snuck in or like tried for years. Mm -hmm. So there, there's a lot of stories of people, you know, sneaking right. in. There's the a lot Bohemian online. Bro a lot. Yeah. Um, and there's been a lot of protests against mm -hmm. the Bohemian Club and their retreat. So because people want to know, like, if these are the people running the show, yeah, like they want transparency. They want to yeah. know what's going on. If they're talking about things, which we'll get into, because yes, of will. course, like. They say it's a retreat and just relaxation, but how are how are you gonna have all these powerful men and not talk about business? Exactly. So like Christina mentioned earlier, their motto is weaving spiders come not here. Um, and it's a line from Shakespeare's Midsummer Night's Dream. And what it means is that deals and plans can't be hatched here. But that's not always the case. Um, they do not leave business out of the club. Um, and these are some examples of that. So Dwight Eisenhower gave a political address in the Grove in 1950, which helped him get the Republican nomination. Mm -hmm. um, Nelson Rockefeller also gave a lakeside chat in 1963 when he was wanting to run for president. And Richard Nixon and Ronald Reagan met there to work on a political deal in 1967. So obviously they don't keep politics out of the club. No, absolutely not. Um, I mean, it's, it's kind of inevitable. You have all these politicians, all these important people mm -hmm. like, you're gonna it's gonna come it. up. Yeah, it's gonna, it's come, gonna up. come up. Um, Nixon also talks about how important it is to be a member of the Bohemian Club, specifically for your political success, which is like, it just makes you wonder. Like, we're always given two candidates, right? Mm -hmm. Like at the end when an election year comes around, and it's like, how much of it is fixed? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, how much say do the people really have? Yeah, that, that's that's what I think about when. Things like this get brought up. It's true. Like it's, it's so just true. I don't know. It just feels like a game, you know. Like yeah. Like they know what the outcome's gonna be. Yeah, exactly. But Nixon said that his speech at the Grove marked the first milestone in his journey to presidency. Okay. The groundwork for the Manhattan Project was talked about there, which led to the creation of the atomic bomb, which is made the atomic like bomb. <laughs> okay, like I don't understand how they get away with this. <laughs> I don't either. And then we know club members also will participate in these plays and poetry readings called Midsummer Hijinks and Low Jinks. Um, there's also apparently a band or orchestra that's performing while these plays are happening. Just like, so you have, so on, on one hand, you're having serious political conversations. Yeah. I'm running for president, blah, blah, blah. But also we're gonna put, we're gonna F around and I'm gonna dress up in a suit and we're gonna do a play. What? And it's just what? like these political conversations and these decisions that they're making, like, like, are you sober when you're making these decisions? You know right? What I'm like, like, that's so true. Like, because if I make a decision drunk, I know it's not a good decision. <laughs> so I don't know about that. You're <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> you're making the decisions about our country, about the atomic bomb. And you're the, uh, and the next day you're performing a little play mm -hmm. for your friends. I don't get it. I, I don't get it. I don't Crazy get it. Crazy stuff. Very crazy. So getting into the more conspiracy theories surrounding the Bohemian Grove, many people believe the recreation aspect of the campground, campground is completely false or just partly true. That there are more pressing matters that are actually being discussed when all of these extremely powerful men get together. It's possible that they actually come together to talk about events happening all around the world and discuss certain plans that they have and how they can make certain deals to accomplish what they're setting out to do between each other. So basically like pushing their own agenda to ensure what they want done actually happens. Mm -hmm. And whether that's with these huge corporations or the economy, the government, the media, that's who's showing up to this event. Yeah. So like, that's to just, me, it makes sense. Yeah. And that's just like crazy to think about. Cause like, like, do they manipulate, like, do they come here and talk about how they can manipulate the media, mm -hmm. like what they want to push out? Or they're making um, deals within each other. Hey, if you do this for me, I'll do this for you. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's just Buying crazy. out, selling out. Like, mm. And then you think about, like, what is pushed in our face and, like, mm -hmm. what kind of goes behind the cracks and, like, absolutely, you know, what we don't notice. Like, even with what's going on now mm -hmm. with, like, the coronavirus and then the stuff happening on the side that we're kind of like not paying attention to. Y'all, Hillary Clinton went to court. Nobody's talking about Nobody's that. Nobody's talking okay? about Okay, like so it's the just whole like, sex trafficking. Yeah. There's so much going on behind the scenes. But when you turn on a news channel, no matter what way they're leaning, mm -hmm. it's one story. Yeah. And it's just like, okay, all these other things happening behind the scenes. Yeah. And these are like rich, powerful men. They could yeah. easily pay off. Exactly. You know, corporations to it. would it. be so easy. Yeah. 
to just to for their agenda to be pushed mm -hmm. for what they want people to think what they want society to which way they want them to you know lean, lean on yeah. like it's just it's insane it's insane so like that's why we always encourage you to do your own research mm -hmm. about stuff you know Absolutely. look beyond what people are telling you um because it's crazy mm -hmm. so some conspiracy theories that are a little bit out there that people a lot of people believe in so we do want to mention um yeah like alex jones <laughs> is that the whole cremation of care that i mentioned earlier is actually a they're actually sacrificing a human um a lot of people think they're sacrificing a child uh which is crazy but uh, some people do believe that and then another you know a little far-fetched but <laughs> it's a conspiracy theory yeah is that other people believe that they're all actually the illuminati and that they're blood drinking devil worshippers <laughs> or they're actually the lizard people who transform into their true form um which there's some crazy conspiracy theories but there are a lot of people who you know there's a whole community for the lizard people the lizard in people, general yeah. like it's insane. I didn't even know how serious this was taken, guys. But so. it's taken pretty seriously. It really is. Um, <laughs> so definitely look into that because it's weird. And then this also plays into the conspiracy theories, but a lot of people believe that the owl that they use mm -hmm. in the ceremony represents Moloch the owl. God associated with child sacrifice through fire or war. So that's kind of where people think that they're sacrificing they're their child. That comes into play, yeah. yeah. And then some people say there's a hidden owl in the American dollar bill, which will insert a picture. It's like in the corner. Mm -hmm. And then it's uh, it's the symbol for Bohemian Grove. And people say it's hidden in a lot of movies, a lot of logos. Um, if you look, we'll also insert pictures. But yeah, so the owl is like a big thing. And we mentioned before, like there's a huge owl statue that a lot of people also think that they worship in mm -hmm. a way. Because if you see this, it's literally like like a god like yeah. it just looks so weird. Very weird and if you think about it like it's kind of creepy because like owls are always watching you yeah and they can turn their head all the way around so it kind of reminds me of like the all-seeing eye like they're always yeah. watching they know what's going on like big brother yeah exactly it's yeah. just really creepy so there are a ton of conspiracies out there regarding secret societies. It's not just the Bohemian Grove, but when we have evidence of these clubs, because they do exist, yeah. and we know that they exist, and they continue to meet like the Bohemian Grove, like the Freemasons, it just makes you wonder, like, is all of it just casual? Mm -hmm. Or does something more serious and sinister happen? Because again, like the Freemasons, extremely secretive. It's very bizarre, and it's just like, it's just scary to think that our political leaders meet without us knowing what they're yeah. talking about and, and like are participating be, in yeah. all of this it's just it's it's like i i don't know it's just it's very weird even if it was nothing like it's still something that they're meeting you know what i'm saying like right. it's still it's so secretive they don't want people to know like they don't want people infiltrating like it's just it's, it's weird it's very weird Another huge event that we know, again, that happens is the Bilderberg meeting, which is more of an international meeting where major world leaders come together. And I think they meet in Europe, but again, it's, it's also extremely secretive. So the question isn't, are these people meeting? Yeah. Because again, we know it's if happening, but what actually goes on? Yeah. What are they meeting about? Yeah. What are they talking about? What's going on? Yeah. Um, and that's, that's why so many people think, mm -hmm. you know, what they think. Um, and then we think it's important to mention that we don't necessarily believe every conspiracy that gets right. put out on the internet. It's seriously dangerous to believe people who start trying to force pieces together that don't really fit mm -hmm. and start spreading information that's completely off base. Um, and there are people who genuinely believe that everything is a giant conspiracy and everything is staged. Yeah. Um, and with that, I feel like it weakens events where there are strong inconsistencies and people who just won't believe it because of all the other crazy ideas that have been put out exactly. there. Exactly. But however, on the other end of the spectrum, you have people who believe everything they hear from the media, from yeah. articles, that it's 100% true and that there's no way that the government could be involved in a mass cover-up or the rich and powerful could be involved in these secret societies. But it's important, we think it's important to always ask questions yeah to have some form of like skepticism mm -hmm. and to do your own research. Like we say, we say it all the time because like there's so many examples of that happening. Yeah. And so I mean, think about it, like even with our last video, how like far fetched was aliens in area mm -hmm. 51 back in the day? Like how like people were like, ugh, like that's so how stupid. annoying. Yeah. Like, and now there's proof that they're the Pentagon put the out Pentagon. videos that they literally have these spacecrafts mm -hmm. that aren't from this world yeah. like so it's not like 
thinking that way or like not believing everything it's not completely crazy like yeah. you're not crazy to believe in these conspiracy theories it's like some of it's true like it's exactly. just there's a lot of secrecy and it's possible like we have seen that it's possible for the government mm -hmm. to cover these things up you operation know? northwoods mm -hmm. let us know if you want to go into it because we'll we do it it's go so it. interesting yeah. and scary honestly but it is one interesting video i want to point out for you guys to watch and to check out is joe rogan's podcast where he interviews John Ronson, who was actually the journalist with Alex Jones when he infiltrated the Bohemian Grove. And it's really interesting. He goes into detail about what he thinks, what he saw, what he experienced. And his opinion is more of like, it's not so much like they're doing something wild or crazy, mm -hmm. but at, he did mention he felt like he was the only sane person there because you have all of these powerful people involved in this sacrifice and they're all into it he mm -hmm. said they're all like yeah and then you had alex jones who's like human sacrifices blah blah yeah. blah and he's just like surrounded by all of these crazy people so it's it's a really interesting podcast for sure so please check it out again yeah. come to we'll your link conclusions. it below yeah so what do you think about the bohemian girl what do you think is like going on i think it's a little extra to say there's human sacrifices i mean i don't think that's going on i think it's insane that they're performing a mock sacrifice again that are the people who run this country are yeah. involved so that's crazy i 100 percent do they talk about plans and what they mm -hmm. want and pushing their agenda that 100 percent goes on but like beyond that we don't know yeah I don't and I, I don't rule anything out, but like I yeah. think I'm the same way where I do believe they they do talk politics. Absolutely, I think it's important to be a member of the Bohemian Grove if you want to move forward yeah. with like presidency or anything you're to doing. To be noticed, yeah, to be noticed. So, yeah. um, and I I just personally think it's weird that it's so secretive and it shouldn't be. Yeah, and um, like I understand the protests that go on and why mm -hmm. people are upset because it's just like these are our leaders, you know? Exactly. So who knows what else they're doing? I don't. Think they're doing like human sacrifices and stuff like that but like obviously who knows but they're obviously doing something that they shouldn't be doing you know right. in private being so secretive not like just be transparent exactly. you're our political leaders you need to be transparent with the people you know what i'm saying so. and at the end of the day maybe it is just a giant frat party yeah but yeah it's just <laughs> It's just all really weird. It's still odd. But let us know what you guys think. Yeah. Comment down below. If you, we've had some. We also have a video on TikTok. Mm -hmm. a, a short sixty minute, sixty second. A short sixty, a short minute, 60 video. minute, guys. A short sixty second video. But um, we had a lot of people comment like, "Oh, my mom worked there. Mm -hmm. Oh, I work there." So if you know of anybody personally, or if you yourself, comment down know. below your experience because we're extremely interested. Yeah. Um, or let us know what you guys think. We'd love to know. We would love to know, guys. Um, but yeah, that's it for the video. Um, make sure to follow us on TikTok, on Instagram, subscribe. our blog. We are on Spotify if you just want to listen. Yes. Um, and yeah, we'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Bye.